when I'm speaking on the desert by faith, I'm going to read one scripture, and it said, Now faith is confidence in what we hope for, and assurance about what we do not see. This is what the angels were commanded for. Faith means belief, firm persuasion, assurance, have confidence and hope. Faith is confidence in what we hope for, and assurance that the Lord is working even though we cannot see it. Faith. Amen. Amen. Know that no matter what the situation in our lives or someone else's lives, that the Lord is working in it. When you have faith, you trust and believe in something very strong. It is only when we know God's will that we can believe it. So if you want to have faith, you must hear and read God's promises. Faith doesn't come because someone praying over us. It comes from hearing the word of God. Amen. Faith isn't just a notion that people hold on to in tough times. Faith is what helps us get through. Without faith, we are nothing. Faith is when we see things impossible in our life. That is the moment when we have to trust in God and rely on his word. Search all the promises of God and meditate those promises until you trust or the trust of God arise in our hearts. To place our faith in God means we need to spend time getting to know him through the Bible and through prayer. I'm gonna give you a little things about faith. It had to take faith for pastor to come this far, trusting God and believing in God to come this far. Because if she didn't have belief, if she didn't have faith in God, she would have never came this far. Amen. And so I come to encourage y'all today that, whew, Lord Jesus, that we have to have faith. God had put us in a situation now through this protect to this pandemic that we have no choice but to trust him, to rely on him, and depend on him. Even though we wear the mask and everything, but the mask is not what's keeping us safe. Amen. What's keeping us safe is our faith in the Lord. Amen. We trust and rely on God. That's what's keeping us. Amen. So what about this faith? We can believe God for all things when everything is going good for us. But when a dragon hit us, Boy, we waving like the ocean. We blowing. We ain't got no more faith in. So the kind of faith that I come to tell you that we need today, we need the kind of faith that we will be rooted in God. We're going to stand on the promises of God. We're going to speak faith because we have to have some actions behind that faith. Because we can pray all day for things to change. But if we ain't doing nothing for the change, it's going to stay the same. So I come to encourage you today about faith. Faith is believing God for the unknown. See, if we know everything, we got it all together, we don't need God. That's it, that's it. So in faith, faith is powerful. It is so powerful because we have to really lean, depend, and trust on God. God put us in the situation now, we ain't got no trust for the leaving and depend on him. You know, when we, we was in church, we were all comfortable because it was cold inside church. But God don't jack our behinds up, put us out in the heat. Uh -huh. He got us just how he want us, ain't it? And we ain't got no trust but the word praise him in the heat. God, I thank you. It's hot, but I praise you. God, I praise you in spite of what it looked like. And sometimes we go through different things in life. And some things that come unexpected. And we always be saying, God, I got so much faith in you. I got this faith in you. But soon as something come unexpected in our life, what we do? I ain't got time no more. I ain't going to church no more. God, I don't know what to do. But it's faith thing. We ain't got no more faith. We ain't got no more faith. We got to keep that faith. We got to keep it through the good times, the bad times, when we happy, when we sad. We got to keep it going. Because you know what? We need God. We need God more than anything in this world right about now. All the pandemic did was came to make us to get closer to God, to trust him more than ever before, to rely on him more. Because we weren't doing it before. We were so comfortable. We could come in church and just sit out, praise you, Lord. But now we hot. <laughs> Jesus! We ain't got no trust but to praise him. And so this faith is when you have confidence and assurance in God. 
God, even though I don't see you, I don't see the way, but I know my faith in you, you already don't make the way. Amen. That's what God wants us to think and how he wants to feel. Even though you don't see it, Sister Brenda, but God already worked it out for you. Amen. That's the kind of faith he wants to have. But sometimes we have this type of faith that if we don't see it, we can't believe it. We believe all the stuff that the doctors tell us. But we don't believe what God tell us. God tell us in his word, we are healed. Because if we can believe it, but if we don't trust it, and we don't speak that thing into existence, we still gonna be in the same predicament we was in before. Amen. So I come to encourage y'all today. Stand on God's word, trust God. Then it depend on God's word through everything. Continue to put your hope, your trust, and everything in God because God is the only one going to keep us. He's the only one that provides and they're making a way for us. Amen. We can't do nothing without God. Yes. We can't breathe. We can't do nothing. Yes. It had to take faith for y'all to come here in y'all cars and come to church. When you go to that car, you're going to believe in God that that car going to crank up and bring you where you got to go. Amen. That's faith. That's right. And when you come to church, you're going to believe that pastor going to bring the message. Then they're going to touch you and convict you. That's faith. We come in with expectations. So that's all God gave me. <laughs>